today I'm going to show you how to make your inexpensive Amper Time lithium batteries into a Bluetooth capable, more expensive battery with this. This is Victron Smart Battery Sense. This module makes it where if your lithium batteries did not come with Bluetooth capabilities, this module will make them into Bluetooth capable uh, lithium batteries. Uh, with only two simple hookups, uh, one for the negative and one for the positive. And this module also has a temperature sensor in it for you to know the state of charge of your battery and the temperature of your battery. So we're going to go ahead and put these in and see how they work. As you can see, I have three Amper Time lithium batteries for my trolling batteries. I have one uh, Ionic battery for my cranking battery. And then the Ionic battery comes with... Uh, Bluetooth capabilities already. Uh, I love that battery just for that reason and uh, it also is a 125 amp hour battery for cranking. Uh, the rest of them like I said they're just my trolling motor batteries. These Amper Time batteries cost around I believe I paid $329, $27, something like that. So they are very inexpensive compared to this Ionic battery it was seven hundred and thirty nine dollars something like that so you can almost buy two of these for that price the only bad thing about these Amper Time batteries I've seen so far is I don't know the state of charge on these batteries like this Ionic uh, battery I can go on the app and look at it and see that it's you know eighty percent eighty five percent that way I don't have to charge this battery as many times as I would just if I didn't know the, the state of charge on those batteries. Uh, like I said, with these you would have to charge them just to know what is the state of charge on these batteries. So I want to rectify that situation and try to make these batteries last long as I possibly can. That's why I was flipping through pages on Amazon and I come across this Victron Energy's uh, Smart Battery Sense little module. Uh, if you don't know about Victron, they make all types of uh, BMSs and controls for solar uh, applications. But I believe this will work on these boat batteries, basically, you know, boat lithium batteries, for you can actually see the state of charge on your battery. And like I said, they only got two little simple connections, uh, one for the positive, one for the negative. And they do have a sticky back on them for you can stick the actual uh, sensor to your battery for the actual temperature sensor will work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have some, just some regular alcohol and, uh, well, it's 90% or oh, it's 50% alcohol. I'm just going to get a little rag. And I'm going to clean up a spot that I want to put that uh, sensor. But I have no grease or anything for that sensor will stick and won't come off. So like I said, uh, this has a sticky back on it. And I want to try to put this in where I can route my cables, you know, either way that I can without having the cables actually under my ratchet strap here that holds my batteries down. So I think this is a good spot for that. Uh, and But again, they got two little lights here that you want to be able to see. So I'm going to stick this right here for the lights sticking out for when I look in here, I can see those lights. So let's take the little sticky pad off the back. And it's probably one and done, so if this is not where you want it, make sure this is the right place so I'm gonna put that down I like to try to twist it down like I'm trying to get it to go through it instead of on top of it so every little part of it is locked down so I got that on there pretty good I don't think it's coming off so it already has a uh, fuse in the positive wire here and I just want to 
try to get it in a good position that I don't have a stress on this wire here. But I actually want this cable under my uh, ratchet strap there. So we're going to put the cable on the uh, negative first. I just want to put that connection under that battery lead. And I'm going to hand tighten it until I get it down to where I actually want it. Okay, I got that tight enough. So now I want to do the actual same thing over here on the positive side. Just trying to figure out what I want to do with these cables here, if they're in the right place or not. Okay, what I did was I just got a couple of black zip ties and tied the cables in a little circle here for they won't be just all, you know, just dangling around and all over the place. So I got that neat and nice for as I think and uh, got the batteries hooked up on the positive and the negative side. And guys, you make sure you go get you some of these ratchet straps to hold your batteries down uh, this is the one of the better things I have bought to actually hold batteries down I mean you can tighten them up as tight as you want them to get on them and the batteries will never move so I put the link in the description for these uh, ratchet straps but hopefully you can see here on this uh, module you can see the Bluetooth light is blinking on it uh, this other light is an arrow light just in case you have an arrow with your battery you can actually see that so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna go to the app I just only got one hooked up right now so I just want to test that so uh, let me find the app on my phone here and as you can see here at the top it's already reading this one battery uh, it's connecting uh, Bluetooth pairing, uh, I'm going to show the code, okay, we just hit pair on that, we got crazy drivers out there on the road, uh, but down here at the bottom is wanted you to update, and it's updating the module to the latest software. So once that's complete, we should be able to see the uh, temperature of the battery and the state of charge. Okay, everything is updated. We'll hit continue. Now we'll go back and click on it. As you can see, that's the state of charge of my batteries. It's 13.3, blah, blah, blah. They don't... I don't want to do anything that right now. Uh, as you can see, my battery temperature is is 21 Celsius. I, will, I like to change that if I can. I don't know how to do that yet, but but I work on trying to change that to Fahrenheit here. So, but that's reason I wanted these uh, modules. So let me hook up the rest of the modules and see what everything looks like connected. Now that I got all three. Uh, Victron Smart Battery Sense connected to each one of my batteries here. Uh, we're going to go back to the app and look at look at the app here. And I was able to play around with this app and actually change the actual uh, labels to each battery. Uh, this last one I have it done. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. Uh, if we go into we click on that battery and if we go up here to settings we can do a couple of things here uh, once you get the modules connected they're going to ask you to change the pin for the bluetooth for nobody else can bluetooth into your actual battery so 
we're gonna go ahead and change the pin I'm gonna do that for you guys don't see my pin and we just hit OK and it just letting you know you changed your pin and you can see tutorials on how to do other stuff as you can see the actual temperature has changed I'll show you how I found that out uh, we're gonna go back into settings and hit back up here we want to look at product information uh, right here in product information you can see where you can uh, change your pin uh, you can change the, the actual name of the battery to a custom name and you can actually update uh, when the update is available so we're gonna hit edit and we're just naming these one two three but I'm gonna do it the bass hunter uh, battery number this is going to be number three because I got them in order one two three uh, we did done and now that battery name is changed so we can go back out and we can see that my batteries are bass on one two and three uh, I wish I would have had them in order but if you put you know you in order as you bring them up on the app that's what order they're going to be in but that way it lets me know what battery is what uh, I am actually going to put like a uh, number one and number two and number three on these batteries once I get some bigger labels maybe from Home Depot or something but over here where it says uh, device list if you hit these three little lines you can go into the settings app part of that and here at the bottom you can see the language uh, the Fahrenheit or Celsius uh, you can change it to whatever you want uh, and just looking at the bottom here it says that you can actually sign in uh, to account remotely to act the access your devices so you could probably actually set it up where you can look at your battery status if you're out and about and you're like man I gotta go fishing but I don't know the charge of my batteries. You could probably sign in from wherever you're at with that. That's what I think. So it has the Bluetooth on it and it runs all the time. Uh, that would be my only concern about these little blue lights blinking all the time. But I'm pretty sure with that Ionic battery is doing that inside because the actual Bluetooth module is inside of it. So I don't think it's going to draw down these batteries any at all because that ionic battery doesn't go down uh it hadn't went down a vote yet so not even half a vote uh since i've been at my last term which was last week so i don't think that's going to be a problem but i just turned a inexpensive 327 230 dollar battery into a $800 battery just with this $40 module from uh, Victron off of Amazon so guys that's that's gonna be it for this video I just want to show you that and like I said down the road I do a review on all these batteries and let you know about the modules and all that good stuff so and this is one more thing I forgot to add just by looking at this app if you click on one of your batteries and over here it says trends you can click on that trend and you can actually see what your battery has done in the last uh, down here at the bottom you can change the times frame like right now is at five minutes if I knock it down to 15 seconds you can see what the battery is doing every 15 seconds is it going the voltage going up or down I can change it to 30 and you can see it's not going past the 13.32 it's just every now and then when, once I uh, once it goes by you can see it spike up just a little bit but uh, that's another thing you can look at uh, to monitor your battery uh, this side is the uh, extra temperature this side is the actual voltage so I just want to add that that was one thing I just seen on here on this battery uh, looking through the app all right guys that is it i mean with just those little 40 dollar modules i can get the capabilities of bluetooth with my ample time batteries that's a system that i wanted to be able to monitor my battery so 
with just $40 little module, it changed my inexpensive $330 battery into one of those $1,000 batteries. So, uh, it, to me, I hate to say it this way, but everybody uses it. It's a game changer because down the road, when uh, if you have a problem with any battery, they're going to be asking, how many cycles do you have on your battery? And if you know the state of charge on your battery, when you come home fishing, you might not even have to charge it. So the less cycles you have on your battery, the more that battery is going to be worth. Now and later, six to seven years down the road. Uh, like these modules here, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for these modules myself uh, because I wanted that capability of monitoring my batteries without having to get out a multimeter and do all the checks uh, on the battery that way. I can sit in my house on my couch and just look at the app and say, yeah, my batteries are still charged, so I can go fishing tomorrow without having to charge them. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm doing this for you guys don't have to do this. Uh, I spend my money to give you the information that I had about whatever product I'm trying to put out there for you guys to be able to make a decision without having to go... Uh, get something that you didn't need down the road uh, and the other thing is the ratchet straps uh, I can't can't tell you how much better those ratchet straps are than just the regular straps that come in a boat uh, I can't understand how somebody to sell you a hundred thousand dollar boat but give you some straps that come loose and never strap down your battery the best way it could possibly be strapped down uh, so with that said you probably need to go get these modules soon because you know with the shortage I don't know how many they got or how many they they will have but you don't want to be left behind when everybody else got the modules and and you gotta wait another two months to get them so I'm gonna leave that down in the description and the ratchet straps so I know the ratchet straps they could didn't have any a couple of months ago because buddy of mine tried to get some but he just got them like two three weeks ago so they probably got some more stock so I'm gonna leave that down in the description also but other than that guys I do this for you don't have to but please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel uh, just like I said you know always we're trying to get the subscriptions up uh, get more views on these type videos so but other than that guys we out of here thanks for watching